What is going on everybody and welcome to part 20 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we are going to be adding that ammo dispenser that we created and actually add that to our shop menu so it can be spawned from within that menu. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of cleanup here and a little bit of adding to our ammo dispenser files. We just want to be using the init.lua and share.lua files that are associated with this ammo dispenser. So first thing we want to do is with this set model, we want to grab this model, just cut it out, and go to the share.lua, and let's create a brand new variable here. So ent.model, and set this equal to that model that we just copied. And this is just going to allow us to grab this model wherever we want, as long as we have an entity that is an ammo dispenser. So that's going to be very useful for when we go about getting a model for the spawn icon for the shop menu that we're going to be making in this part. So instead of this, we can go ahead and just do self.model here just to grab that model. And let's go ahead and test it out just to make sure that everything is still working. And there it is. We still got the model. So that's good. We know that share.lua variable is working. And now one more thing in these ammo dispenser files, or in this init.lua file for the ammo dispenser, we want to go ahead and check to see if this network integer here is greater than zero. Because if this is a negative value, it's not going to work out so well, and people are going to end up not being able to spawn the three ammo dispensers that they're allowed to spawn. So if we want to go ahead and check if this owner colon get the networked integer that's associated with the owner that is called class name concatenated with count and we want to check to see if this is greater than zero if this value is greater than zero go ahead and subtract one from it when the entity is removed so this will prevent it from ever becoming a negative value and, and will only allow it to become as little as zero so next up, we want to go ahead and do one more thing here. I'm just going to tab this over for right now and just put an end statement here. And now right above all this, we want to do another if statement here. That's going to check if owner dot is valid. This is just to prevent it from running or from us getting an error that's relating to this owner being a null entity. Because in some cases, such as when a player leaves a game, or when a server shuts down, this may become an invalid entity, and then it will throw an error whenever this code is ran. So this is just to avoid that, and most of the time, other than those two occurrences when a player leaves or when a server shuts down, this will always be a valid entity. But just in case it isn't, there you have it. And that will be all that we need to do with these ammo dispenser files. So let's just go to the custom menu and actually add this to the shop panel now. So we want to be working with the shop button dot do click function here. And right below the shop panel, we want to go ahead and add another variable, so local icon list. This will just be a list of all the different spawn icons that we have. And we're going to set this equal to vgui.create a d icon layout. And its parent is going to be the shop panel that is right above it right here. Next up, we want to go ahead and set some values for this. This is icon list, colon, set pause, and the position of it will be 0, 0, which will be situated right at the left topmost corner of the shop panel. Next up, the size of it, icon list, colon, set size. I'm just going to grab the shop panel, colon, get wide, and that'll get the width of the shop panel. And the same thing, but instead of get wide, we're going to do shop panel, colon, get tall. That'll give us the width and the height of the shop panel, and then set the size of this icon list to basically the size of the shop panel. Next up, we need to go ahead and do some X and Y spacing. So icon list colon set space Y, and that'll be five. And then icon list colon set space X to five as well. Let's just add some spacing in between every icon that is in this icon list. So instead of them all being bunched together, there'll be a separation of about five pixels in between them. Next up, we want to go ahead and create ourselves an array here by doing local ents r equals opening, closing, curly brace. After this, we want to go ahead and add in any and all of our entities that we want to be added to the shop. 
this case, I, we have a single one. So I want to add this to the ents r and the first position in it. And so this equal to scripted underscore ents, which is just a built-in value, dot get, and then the class name of the entity that we want to get here, which it'll be ammo underscore dispenser. Next up, we need a way of looping through this ents array, so we can go ahead and add the spawn icons for each entity. We do this by doing for k comma v in pairs, and we want to loop through this ents r array. So then do and then end. Now every time this goes through this loop, this v variable will be set to whatever entity is currently in the loop, whichever entity is next up. In this case, it'll only be the ammo dispenser, but if you ever add more, it'll go ahead and loop through each one accordingly. So what we want to do in here is create ourselves a spawn icon, so local icon equals vgui.create, and we want to go ahead and create a spawn icon. We want this to be a child of the icon list. Next up, we need the model to be set for it, and this will be the model that is displayed on the icon itself. And we do this by doing icon colon set model. And since this v variable is set to this ammo dispenser entity in this case, we want to go ahead and grab the model from its share.lua file by doing v, opening and closing square brackets, then double quotes, and then inside of this, the value that we want to grab, which is the model. This will go ahead and grab whatever value is associated with model. In this case, it'll grab this value here. Next up, we want the tooltip, so icon colon set tool tip. And we want to do the same exact thing here, except instead of model, we want the print name. This will go ahead and grab the print name, which is just this here, the ammo dispenser. And whenever we hover over this icon in the shot menu, it'll be right above it saying ammo dispenser in the tooltip section. I'll show you that once we get into game here in just a second. Next up, I want to add this icon to the icon list by doing icon list colon add, and then whatever we want to add to the icon list, which in this case is just the icon. Next up, we want to go ahead and do something when this icon is clicked. So icon, oh, icon dot do click. And we want to set this equal to function. Then in the argument section, we want the object that is being clicked on, in this case, the icon. And let's end that. Now in here, we want to go ahead and run a console command on whatever player is clicking it. And we grab this player by doing local player colon con command. So this will just run a command on this local player. And the command that we want to run is the one that we created last time, which was this by underscore entity command. And we want to put a space after this. This is very important. It'll, it's going to separate the command from its arguments. And with this by entity, it needs one argument. So let's concatenate that on. And this will just be v, opening and closing square brackets, followed by the double quotes. Inside of these, we want to grab the class name of the entity that we want to spawn when we click on this icon. So once that is done, save this. Let's go into game now. And just in case, we're going to reload it just to make sure that there are no errors. And if there aren't any, which it looks like there isn't, we can go ahead and press F4, go to the shop menu. And as you can see, our icon is there. And as you can see, when we hover over it in the tooltip section, it tells us what the entity itself is, which is the ammo dispenser. And if we click on it, it spawns it for us. We get out a gun, click on it like we normally do using the use key, and we gain ammo just like we would if we spawned it from the Q menu. And also, if we destroy it or damage it, it'll end up being destroyed, just like it normally does when we spawn from the Q menu as well. So anyways, that will conclude part 20 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.